Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. I'm actually rocking my Jen's Tribe merch. If you didn't know, I have super fun merch. I have sweatshirts, t-shirts, all sorts of things. Actually right below the video, under the description box, you'll see some of my merch. Definitely check it out, super cute. I love this t-shirt, it's so buttery soft. I actually took a walk this morning and two people complimented my shirt. On the back it also says official member, so check out my merch. I digress. It is meal prep day. It is Monday. So I have three amazing recipes for you. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited for these all week long. So if you're excited to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on because I do a meal prep every Monday and I actually upload five videos every single week. I will have my recipe website down in the description box. That's where you'll find all of today's recipes as well as nutrition coaching for one-on-one -on -one coaching and personalized macros and calories. That is what I followed to lose my 140 pounds actually and maintain that weight loss as well as come join my free Facebook group. We would love to have you. So let's head on into the the kitchen for this amazing meal prep. For my breakfast this week, I am making sticky buns with pecans. I'm so excited for these. I'm going to pair it with some protein. So let me show you what you'll need. I'm going to make two ingredient dough and I swore I had self-rising flour and I do not. So you can actually use all purpose flour. You just have to add baking soda and baking powder to make it rise. You can also use yeast, whatever your preference is, but we're gonna make two ingredient dough, and then I need some non-fat Greek yogurt for that. So it's self-rising flour and non-fat Greek yogurt. Then I need milk, honey, sweetener of your choice. I have allulose, it's my favorite sweetener, naturally derived from figs and raisins. It's the only thing I use now. I buy it right off of Amazon, I'll link it for you. You also need brown sugar, and I'm out. I made peanut butter cookies for Troy and used the rest of the brown sugar. So I'm gonna make my own using the allulose and a little bit of molasses. That's basically what brown sugar is. So I'm gonna make my own homemade brown sugar, and then of course some light butter, salt, cinnamon, and pecans. So the first thing we need to do is make the two ingredient dough. So I have two cups of flour. Now if you were using self-rising flour, you would just do two cups of self-rising flour. And then I'm going to do a teaspoon each of baking soda and baking powder. Typically it's a one to one ratio of Greek yogurt, but what I like to do is add my Greek yogurt in a little bit slower until I get the right consistency of the dough. So I usually just add it in little by little and stir in between. And basically what you're looking for is just a dough consistency. Then I'm going to make the filling before I roll out the dough. So we need half of a cup of light butter softened. And then the recipe calls for a quarter cup of regular sugar and three quarters of a cup of brown sugar, but I'm going to be making my own brown sugar. So I did a full cup of allulose. I'm going to add in my couple teaspoons of cinnamon and then my molasses, and I'm going to only put about a tablespoon or so in and then start mixing this together. And between the butter and that little bit of molasses, we should get the same effect. I, I'm kind of a hot mess with this recipe. <laughs> I really swore I had self-rising flour and then I didn't realize that I hadn't that I didn't have a backup of brown sugar alternative either. I usually have a brown sugar substitute on hand, so both of those items are going directly onto my grocery list. So I have rolled out my two ingredient dough. Here is what our filling looks like. I'm going to add that right on top and then spread it out. I'm going to keep it away from the edge, just about a half an inch or so. I don't want it to all squirt out when we roll up our dough. And then I'm basically just going to roll this up the best that I can. And then I'm going to cut this into six equal sized rolls. And then I'm going to pop it in the freezer while we make the pecan topping, just so that they are a little more solid before I transfer them to a baking dish. While the dough's in the freezer, we're going to do the topping. This is where all the goodness happens, the caramelization, the pecans. So we are going to cook our topping over the, on the stovetop. We're adding another half of a cup of light butter, three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. So again, I'm doing my allulose, and this time only about a teaspoon or so of molasses, three quarters of a cup of whole milk, quarter of a cup of honey, some cinnamon, and some salt. 
And then we're going to cook this on the stove until it's all melted, smooth, and shiny. So I just removed the kind of glaze from the stove. We're going to put some of that in the bottom of our baking dish. We're using one cup of pecans total. So I'm going to put about half, three quarters of a cup in the bottom of the baking dish with the glaze. And then I'm just gonna place the rolls right on top. We're going to add the rest of the glaze right on top. And that last quarter cup of pecans, and then it's going into a 350 degree oven for about 30 to 35 minutes or until they are baked through. The sticky buns are out of the oven. I mean, can we just talk about how incredibly amazing these look? Oh my gosh, yum. What the it's just the perfect sweet breakfast if you just want something sweet in the morning. Like I said, I'm going to pair mine with some protein so it's much more balanced, but these look incredible. I'll go ahead and put serving size, points, calories, information here on the screen for you. For my lunches this week, we're making a Panera Bread copycat recipe. You can save a lot of money by copycatting this recipe at home. This is their strawberry poppy seed salad. It is quintessential summer. I thought we could end out summer with one of my favorite salads. So let me show you what you'll need. So for the salad itself, you're going to need pineapple. You can use fresh or canned pecans, fresh blueberries, mandarin oranges in my grocery haul. I couldn't find no sugar added mandarin oranges in a can. So I bought the little cup. So I'm going to use those romaine lettuce, chicken breast, and some fresh strawberries. And then for the homemade dressing, you need nonfat Greek yogurt, a sweet onion, orange juice, poppy seeds, of course, oil, apple cider vinegar, and honey. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my chicken cooked and chopped up. You can probably hear my chicken sizzling in the background, but we're going to make up the dressing. So I added a quarter cup of olive oil, avocado oil, whatever you have to a jar, this is the easiest way to mix it up. You can do it in a bowl, whatever your preference. Two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Three tablespoons of honey. Two tablespoons of orange juice. We're going to grate about a tablespoon of sweet onion. Four tablespoons non-fat Greek yogurt. And then about a tablespoon of poppy seeds. And then I just put the lid on and shake it up. That's why I like to make it in a mason jar. It just really makes it easy. Here's our dressing. Just make sure you shake it up really good before you put together your salad. So for the salad itself, I've prepped everything for the week that way, kind of like I did with the grinder salad, which by the way, Troy and I are obsessed with that salad. I just put my salad together quickly for lunch each day. So I chopped up my romaine. I drained the no sugar added mandarin oranges. I have my blueberries, pineapple. I am going to throw my pecans in the oven and roast them. You get a little bit more flavor out of them. So I'm going to do that really quick and then some cut up strawberries and then I just diced up my chicken breast for the week. So let me put together a salad for lunch today so you can see what the completed salad looks like. So I just pulled out my roasted pecans. It just really brings out the flavor. So definitely roast them. It only takes a few minutes. And so to put together the salad, like I said, I'm going to have a salad for lunch today. I'm going to add some of my romaine to the bottom of my bowl. I'm going to add some fresh strawberries, pineapple, my chicken, mandarin oranges, fresh blueberries, and then sprinkle on about a tablespoon of those cooked roasted pecans. Look at how beautiful and colorful this looks. What I also love about making it at home besides saving the money that it costs for this salad is you can really bulk up the protein and add as much chicken as you want. We've got some healthy fat in the nuts, a good carbohydrate in the fruit. Here is the dressing, so I'll just divide that out amongst the salads for the week. But I'll put all the information here on the screen for you. For dessert this week, per my lovely husband's request, I'm making banana pudding. This is one of our favorite desserts. It's so incredibly easy. So let me show you what you'll need. First, you're going to need milk of your choice. I always use Fairlife for the extra protein. Vanilla wafers. I like the minis. You can use the full size. You need one large tub of fat-free, sugar-free whipped topping. They didn't have a large tub, so I bought two small. Powdered sugar, I'm just using regular powdered sugar. It's just a couple of tablespoons. You can use an alternative if you would rather. 
vanilla extract, sugar-free vanilla pudding, and four ripe bananas. To a large bowl, I'm adding two cups of milk, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and my entire box of pudding mix. If you're using a smaller box, you wanna pick up two. I bought the big box because it was actually cheaper than buying two small ones. And this is the Simply Delish, so it has pretty clean ingredients. And we're gonna whisk this until mixed and it's starting to thicken. To the pudding, we're going to fold in one full container of whipped topping, or if you have the big container, half of that. And we're also adding three tablespoons of powdered sugar. To assemble the banana pudding, I'm using my trifle bowl. I actually bought this on Amazon. It was a really, really good deal. I have used this so many times, so highly recommend. I will link it for you. At the bottom of the trifle bowl, I'm going to add about a quarter of this bag of mini vanilla wafers or whole vanilla wafers, whatever you're using. We are going to use the entire box for the recipe. And then I'm going to add about a quarter of my sliced bananas about a quarter of my pudding mixture, and we're just going to spread that over the bananas and the vanilla wafers. And then we're repeating until we're out of vanilla wafers and out of bananas and pudding mix. And then I'm going to add the remaining half of a large tub or one small tub of whipped topping right on top. And then we're going to top it with the remaining vanilla wafers and sliced bananas. So here is the trifle. Doesn't this look amazing? You can make this, if you don't have a trifle dish, I mean, you can make this in any dish, really. It's mainly just a layered banana pudding. I mean, shoot, you could put all the pudding mix in a bowl, whatever your preference is, but this looks beautiful. It'd be perfect for the last of summer little get together, especially over the holidays with all the Friendsgiving, even Thanksgiving. So I'm excited for this recipe. Of course, I'll put all the information here on the screen for you and I will link my trifle bowl down below. Thank you for joining me for this week's meal prep. I hope you are as excited about these three recipes as I am. I mean, sticky buns, Panera bread salad and banana pudding. Yes, please. Don't forget all of today's recipes are on my website. It is at the top of the description box along with nutrition nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, my merch if you want to shop, and of course come join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Monday, friends. Here's to an amazing, successful week.